Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are looking at one of the quintessential classic examples of what a West Coast Imperial IPA is and became out of this beer. And this, my friends, is the one, the only Russian River Pliny the Elder. 8% alcohol by volume, Imperial IPA. You know, you're not a true beer geek until you've broken your Pliny the Elder cherry. Um, this bottle is actually only 10 days old. So, and as you guys know, as it says right on the bottle here, this beer is not designed to be aged at all. Drink it as fresh as you can. Keep it cold. It's meant to be a hot bomb. You know, the citrus, piney, classic dry notes that have just defined a generation of Imperial IPAs really started with a few beers and this one probably being the most famous of them. So guys, Without further ado, I've previously reviewed this beer in episode three, so 250 episodes later, I really wanted to revisit again. I know my palate's changed. So without further ado, let me get this one into a glass so that you guys know it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on Russian Rivers, Pliny the Elder. All right, guys, so the appearance of Pliny the Elder, it's a just a beautiful, beautiful sunset orange, golden orange, really, really clear. You can see straight through the light in this one. There's a gorgeous, you know, two to three fingers, white head on there, really, really big bubbles on this one, dissipating pretty quickly. Um, there's nice carbonation between the actual beer itself and the head there. Um, nice lacing on there, a little bit of alcohol feet on the legs, but it's just an amazingly clean, clear looking Imperial IPA. All right, guys, the aroma on the Pliny the Elder. Yeah. The, the aroma on this thing just defines what has become this beer. Um, massive grapefruit. You're getting massive pine needles in there, citrus fruits. There's a huge, that West Coast astringency. Yeah, I mean, it just smells like fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. There's a nice kind of slight, slight breadiness in there. No booziness whatsoever. This thing is just a pine citrus bomb. I mean, you can smell it wafting out of the glass from here. It's just an epic, epic aroma out of this beer. All right, guys, so the taste on the Pliny the Elder. Cheers. Front of the tongue is a massive hot bite, you know, super, super bitter citrus hot bite, just gouging out your tongue. Opens the, opens the taste buds to pretty much everything else in the middle of the mouth. You're still getting that grapefruit. You're getting that pininess. You're getting that dry West Coast astringency in there. But you're getting a slight, slight malt backbone to it. It's kind of helped balance out the hot bitterness a little bit. This thing is dry as hell. It finishes like a white wine. Again, that classic West Coast, you know, Imperial IPA finish. Aftertaste is a sweetness, um, like a grapefruit juice sweetness, more pininess, more kind of a biscuity uh, malt to this one. It's just a perfect tasting Imperial IPA with a huge amount of citrus, a nice blend of malts in there to help kind of counterbalance it. You don't taste any of the 8% whatsoever. It's just a perfect tasting Imperial IPA. All right, guys, so the final verdict on Pliny the Elder from Russian River Brewing, 8% alcohol by volume, available year-round on the West Coast and Philadelphia. That's the two places you're going to get this beer. Guys, for me, this is an easy, easy A-plus beer. This is at the top of its game. Again, it's a quintessential must-have West Coast Imperial IPA. This is one of the you know ladders on the rung of what we now know as to be a West Coast-style beer. Dry finish, super piney, super citrusy. And this beer hits it on all accounts. You know, this and Stone Ruination IPA, as well as the Blind Pig, are really just IPAs that you have to kind of look at and respect, even if they're not the most, you know, flavorful IPAs anymore, even if they're not the most bitter or hop intense IPAs anymore, because honestly, they're not. And for me, there are better IPAs in this. There are, you know, better year round IPAs in this. There are very similar IPAs to this. But this is the only reason those beers are around. And for me, that goes a long way. This was a just a, a groundbreaking beer. And quite as honestly, it still is. Like I said, if you're a beer geek, you have to pop your cherry with plenty of the elder. So with that said, folks, it's a must get A+. Plus. Make sure you get it fresh. The bottle date is on the package. So definitely pick up fresh bottles. And remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.